Cześć, z tej strony Nikon. Witam Was w drugim odcinku Kingdom Come. W poprzednim odcinku zabili nam ojca i matkę. Zostaliśmy trafieni w strzałą w nogę i posyłał nas Janusz Boży. No i dobra, pogadajmy z nim. Trzeba ruszyć questa. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a Please full stomach. Please tell me what happened in Sanus. I have a kin there. I I heard heard the Damn. Oh. Damn. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Oh my God! This is too bad. Oh, e. It seemed like any other day, and then I saw thick smoke rising above the hamlet of Rovna. Soon Sigismund's army were. Aha. God preserve us. Ciągle są te same odpowiedzi, to. Okay. We all ran towards. They murdered my parents. God bless you, boy. I'm terribly. Yeah, let's pack up. I jak rośnie. No dobra. Ja w ogóle mogę coś? Nie za bardzo. Czwarty poziom potrzebuję, żeby to jakoś rozwinąć. Dobra, ale wracając, ja już się najadłem z jabłek, które wykradłem od swoich rodziców. Gdzie jest inwentarza? Jeszcze 44 jabłka mi zostały. Ale dobra. Kuchnia. O, kuchnia zawsze jakoś się nisko znajdowała, tak? A tutaj. Po prostu odejść trzeba było. Ah, milady. <coughs> you are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with a presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you? Young master. Eat, Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. I'm going to tell Bishop Umiwa was me and Joke. I need a chunk of When you're done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Nauczyłeś się jadła. Jedz. Jadło i zatrucie. Mhm. To oznacza, że mogę dojebać wszystko. Ty coś. A, bo... Bo mi to spadło jednak. Ciekawe. Ciekawe czy... Zostawmy to. Ciekawi mnie, czy to się jakoś zepsuje. Czy jest tutaj coś najcięższego? To no, chyba jest najcięższe. O i ser dużo tego zabiera. A bo... Tak, to się nie działo z głodu, tylko ze zmęczenia. 
Dobra. Pier wszystko. You're that art from Scalets? What Nevin's name happened there? Panie się odsunie. Dobra, mów. Ja, wszędzie jest to samo. Od razu spalił. It seemed like any other day. Tak. God, sir. We all ran towards the castle for they murdered my parents. The Lord of mercy. No cóż. Nie, najpierw. Jeszcze masz prawie połowę paska tego, że jesteś zmęczony. O co chodzi? O, jeszcze tutaj coś. No to był kurczak, a nie wino. O co chodzi? Tak, rozmawiam. Dobra, już nie będę taki. E, idź się prześpi teraz. To z tej strony chyba nie. Ej, o z tej. I co i to tutaj? Zjąłbym już te buty. Tak się to robi. O, na godzinę. Co się zmienia, co się zmienia. Aha. Pada strawa, rośnie energia. Ciekawe, czy się zdrowie też odnawia. Czas pania. Ciekawa animacja jest. Hmm. A I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you... could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady... Um, thank you. You really shouldn't... You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been. You. You came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now. Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you, but I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Co to teraz będziemy z nią gadać? Czy idziemy spać? No. Dobra, no, 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 right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. 
Father sent me into town on some errands. Dobra, już myślałem, że to się zaczęło tak samo jak wszystkie poprzednie. Dobra, idź może to rzeką. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. The girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. No, I don't. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Spróbujmy. A horde of soldiers was a mass. Oh. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Mm. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Dobra, te odpowiedzi NPC są słabe. How could something like that happen? Mam nadzieję, że w jakichś następnych rozmowach to się poprawi. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. 
We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Mam nadzieję, że pozostałe rozmowy nie będą wyglądać jak ta. To było słabe. A, poza tego we średniowieczu. Osmary. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Oh. Dobra, to wstajemy. Pewnie trzeba będzie się nawrzeć. Nie założyć buty. Sobie w pochodnie zostało. Ja pewnie za dużo goty. Eee... No ja. Nie jest. A, tutaj jest pochodnia. Obtrzymując, tutaj jest, to jest i? Nie, to nie jest i. T? Tutaj jest. Tutaj jest. Tutaj niczego ciekawego nie ma napisanego. <śmiech> nie, to, to jest konsola. To? Może to? Hmm. To? Dobra, e... 
ustawienia kontrolery Uch, walka otwórz no. Tak, fajnie. Eee, dobra, wychodzimy po prostu. I feel quite hungry. Ale... Muszę iść. Daj przy bramie. Gdzie są schody przy bramie? A, tutaj. Może V, może B? Nie, a nie. C, C nie, to jest... Mogę gwizdać. K, J, nie. A może po prostu muszę to wyposażyć? Mhm. Super, proszę mi podpowiedzieli. Chyba trafiłem na koniec przemowy. Nikogo tam nie widzę. Muszę z nim pogadać. Co się dzieje? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the elements of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots, the spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spy see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Kto już to będzie? As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their nose. I wish I had to. Buapka. We left to the chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. 
It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If yeah. should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Ah, that way, me out. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your yeah, tribulation. Like but thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. Hanush. Bravia Kianush. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Dobra. Rozmawiamy z Januszem. Mam go w tą pomoc. I could use an extra pair of eyes and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. No, I'm right, Jeremy. What? What the hell are you doing? What is it? Yeah, to them I'm stretch it so. <coughs> oh, god damn it, my stomach hurts. I've tanked to be sure if I need it. No, I'm going to that over to them I'm stretch. But to be extra. Podniósł mi się pomysł retoryki. Pomysł, poziom retoryki. Ale to chyba tylko oznacza, że będę mógł lepiej przekonywać do czegoś ludzi. Nadal jestem poplemionym w Azji. Nie mogę po prostu. O, mogę tutaj coś. Nocny jeździć w rzeki. Co to jest asceta? Czy masz? Aha, to, to słaba taka. Hmm? Zamiast tych wszystkich to tylko to jest jakieś pozytywne, nie wiem, znaczy pozytywne. Nie ma żadnych minusów. Bo wszystkie te... Jedna, trzy, pięć, Wszystko to ma jakieś takie minusy. Nie, nie takie nie będą dobrze, ale jednak nie. Dobra. Tylko tak. Ciekawi mnie. Na przykład, a to. Minimalny poziom czwarty. 
A czy chodzi o minimalny pomysł poziom główny? Znowu pomysł. Minimalny poziom, czyli poziom główny, czy poziom tego? No dobra. Dobra, ja tutaj kończę. Widzimy się w następnym odcinku. Elo.